Dr. Katie Ray here to talk to you again about your posture. I'm a chiropractor. My office is called New Day. It is located on the north side of Chicago near Lincoln Square. I hope that you are enjoying this series whether you live in Chicago or you live somewhere else and are just checking them out. I'm dropping some tidbits about posture, my perspective about posture, the science behind posture, why you would want to have better posture uh, because it goes beyond just how we look. Actually, as it turns out, posture is an expression of how we are functioning in our nervous system. And whether the posture is good, so whether we're upright, symmetrical, open, taking deep breaths, or to the extent that we're not, that that in turn is actually coming around and causing effects on our bodies as well in terms of the hormonal output, in terms of how confident or focused we feel, and then that's coming and being expressed externally in terms of what people are seeing and how they are assessing us, in us being attracted to people with good posture and a little bit more repelled by people with hunched over or asymmetrical posture, it's because of what it's showing us about their functioning in their bodies. If the nervous system is in a stress-based program or a relaxed, open, and thriving program. Now I promised you in the last video that I was going to talk to you next about a technique you can use to help you with your posture. This is gonna take a couple minutes to show, so it's gonna have this video seem a little bit longer than the other ones, but I'm going to invite you to do this exercise along with me and not just watch me do it and think to yourself, oh, okay, I get what this is, like, I see what she's trying to do kind of thing. You're not gonna benefit from it just by watching it. Well, you might actually a little bit because you'll probably find yourself breathing deeper, but you actually do have to do it. And I'm going to remind you, if you've ever seen a movie about karate, like the Karate Kid or something like that, there's always that scene in the beginning of the movie where the master, not that I'm saying I'm, I'm like a master, but you know, I know some things, where the, the master is trying to teach this kid about karate and he's trying to teach him these really basic things and the kid is like bored and doesn't want to do them because he wants to do the exciting fancy moves. So if there's part of your brain that's thinking that there's some other exciting fancy move that comes later and that's what you want to learn and this is too simple, I'm going to encourage you and just tell you that this simple thing, allow this to help you because this is the key to bringing your nervous system into the state that it needs to be in for you to have good posture subconsciously and for you to become aware of your posture in a different kind of way that is inside out, not outside in. It's not just gonna be based on what you look like from the outside, but you're gonna have a different sensing in your body. That's the key. We're working with the GPS here. So are you ready to do this exercise with me and uh, just play along and try it, even if you think this is too easy or simple? Like I said, let's just do it. So the first thing you wanna do is take your hands and put them over your chest, kind of up high, like at your collarbones. So you're gonna put one hand on top of the other and you're gonna close your eyes. And you're gonna breathe in the nose and out the mouth. And you want to let your breath be pretty gentle. Just kind of like a normal breath. It doesn't have to be super hard or deep. Focusing on your breath. Focusing your breath in this part of your body, right under your hands. Be 
you start to think, focus on the feeling. And now that we've done a few of these breaths here, you're gonna move your hands down to this part on the front of your body, like right where your ribs come together. And you're gonna have your hands again, one on top of the other. You're gonna breathe in your nose and out your mouth once again. Direct your breath into this part of your body. Continue breathing. I'm gonna encourage you and tell you that the purpose of the breath is to feel and notice in your body. Where we focus the breath, that's where the brain gets more access. So you're using the breath to let the brain find and feel right in here. And now lastly, you're gonna move your hands down on top of your belly button. Hands are probably below the camera at this point, but you know where your belly button is. One hand on top of the other, Breathing in the nose, breathing out the mouth, letting the breath flow into your belly. Letting the breath bring awareness. Your brain is finding, your brain is sensing and feeling feeling the connection here. One more breath here. Directing the breath here. Allowing it to be here. Now, part two. Part two of this exercise is that you are going to choose which one of those three places felt the most relaxing, the most peaceful? I'm gonna say one more thing about that. Sometimes our brain gets in the way of finding the most peaceful place because sometimes our brain says, wait a minute, this is about breathing. I've always learned that belly breaths are the best, that belly breaths are the most calming on the nervous system, so I'm gonna choose my belly. That's not exactly what this exercise is about. Remember, it's about using the breath to get awareness. It's about using the breath to help the brain plug in through the nerves. So it could be any of the places. Um, you should be able to focus breath to all of them. And if there's one that felt like it wasn't very focused, that's okay. Right now, I want you to find which one of the three you, for whatever reason, you liked it the most. You found it the most peaceful, you felt the most connection. So for me, you know, when I first started breathing here, I did not, it, it wouldn't have been here, but by the end of it, it was. So I'm actually gonna choose this one. So now you're gonna put your hands on which one of the three felt best. You're gonna close your eyes and you're gonna breathe in your nose and out your mouth once again. And I want you to focus on whatever it is that feels good about this. Maybe it feels good because the breath feels the deepest. Maybe it feels good because you feel the most relaxed. Maybe you have some other awareness of your body or your energy or something else that just has you feel more plugged in when you focus here.
So you're, I'm gonna invite you to do two or three final breaths, focusing on what's good, focusing on what's easy, and imagine that you're amplifying it like a radio signal through your body. So you're letting that signal get stronger. You're helping your brain and nerves relate to what's working, what's good, what's easy. So now that you've done the exercise, either with your eyes open or your eyes closed, just take a moment to assess in your body what might feel different. If something feels different or you have a different awareness about something that either feels good or maybe in some cases we become more aware of tension or something that we don't like, that's okay too. The whole point of this is strengthening the part of the nervous system that is the counterbalance to the fight or flight system. It's called the parasympathetic system. And it's the, it's the deep breath, moderately deep breath, focused with our hands on the front of our bodies that stimulates that part of the nervous system. So if you did this simple exercise every morning, and you don't even necessarily have to do it as long as I had us do it, but I would encourage you to breathe to all three of the places long enough to know which one is gonna be the one that you wanna focus on and to focus on the one that feels the best. Now there are all kinds of other breath exercises, some of them that focus on all kinds of different areas of the body, some that might focus more on a place that doesn't feel good, but for the purposes of having this be easy and having this be something that you can operationalize right now, I want you to focus on the place that feels the best because that's gonna give your nervous system the best chance to strengthen that parasympathetic nervous system and help you in your life have a different posture and have a different awareness about your posture. So I suggest that you try the exercise whenever you can, such as every morning, and you might find that over time, if you commit to doing it once a day, you'll get some practice around it and you might notice for an hour, a couple hours, maybe even for bigger chunks of time, you have an awareness that helps you have better posture. And you can know that when your posture is better, that your functioning is actually better in your nervous system and you're benefiting in all the other ways that we talked about in this video series. So in the next video, which is the last video, I'm gonna talk about how you can go deeper if you would like and learn a little bit more about how chiropractic and specifically the type of chiropractic work that I practice here at New Day, which might be something that you're not yet familiar with, could help you with your posture and all kinds of other things potentially by helping you in the functioning of your nervous system. I'm also going to show in the next video some before pictures and some pictures that come later of some actual clients of this practice showing their posture improve. So you hopefully won't want to miss it and I look forward to seeing you in the next video and showing you more about how the work I do can help you. Thank you so much. I will see you next time. Again, this is Dr. Katie Ray. Bye.